What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here with the 6th episode of PlayStation 4 vs. With all the new next generation games to play, services to watch all your favorite television content and social integration to share your experiences with all your friends, PS4 is looking to deliver something for every gamer. But how will you be navigating through its menus and access all these features that it has to offer? This is PlayStation 4 vs the user interface. One of Sony's main goals with the new PlayStation 4 is immediacy. Gamers should be able to play or download all their content with the least amount of effort possible. Not only does the 8GB of RAM contribute to this, but also the way the interface has been designed. So let's begin at where it all starts, booting up the system. People will be able to turn the console on via its power button on the system and a short startup screen should quickly lead them to the menus. One of the great new features for PS4 is that players will be able to put the system on suspend mode, making you able to turn it back on and play your games at exactly where you left off. The X and B you know from PS3 has been replaced by the new dynamic menu, which makes navigation much faster. You will have access to your games, friend list, trophies and the PlayStation Store all in one screen. Your PSN account will carry over, but next to your profile name, your actual real name can now be used as well. A feed will be displayed right below, showing all the activity from your friends, of which you can now add up to a thousand people. Then there's PS4 share functions. The new button on the DualShock 4 controller allows you to use its new ability to capture your latest gameplay and send it to all your friends. You can share this on social media like Facebook or even stream it via Ustream. If you ever get lost in a mission or can't be the specific boss, you will be able to have a friend help you by letting him access your game from his or her own house. PlayStation 4's base model will include a hard drive of 500GB which will be more than enough to download a big collection of games to it. Not only can you decide yourself what specific elements of a game you would like to download first, but it has also been made so that when having downloaded only a fraction of the total amount, you are already able to start playing, while the game keeps downloading later levels in the background. Finally, there's mobile. While being on the go, you can start up your PlayStation app on both Android and iOS devices and making you able to chat with friends, check out their videos or even purchase new games and letting them download directly to your PS4 at home. With all these improvements and new features, PlayStation 4 is looking to make all the things you do on its platform much easier. From downloading a brand new game, to interaction with friends, to sharing all of your experiences. That urge to play a game right now, but always having to wait minutes to finally be able to, is looking to become history with PlayStation 4.